Thank you for being here. Honorable Minister, yes, all protocol observed. Thank you so much for inviting me, members of press. Uh, my name is Pepe Kuhl. I'm an artist. I'm a Ugandan. I'm a family man. Bawazuena. <laughs> yes, I'm always proud to be doing what I want the rest of the people to do. And that is to love and respect women. Well, uh, I was contacted earlier. Last year, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be part of such a special uh, event. First, I want to thank the Ministry of Tourism. I want to thank all the partners who are part of this, because to me, tourism is one of the most important vehicles through which government can tackle two most important aspects in Uganda today. The first one is patriotism, and the second one is mindset change. Today, Uganda has more than 70% of young people who have grown up in a new era that does not understand the aspect of patriotism, loving your own country. Before you love your own country, I believe you have to know it. To know it, you have to travel. You have to be informed of what is in within your country. I'm 47 years old and I've been doing music for over 30. I've traveled all over the world, not in every country, but at least the most important countries that really I grew up studying about. I grew up, people were talking beauty, good words about so many countries. The U.S., Europe, so many countries in Europe. But surprisingly, I made myself better cool from Uganda, despite the fact that it was considered a third world country. Indeed, it was. But I achieved my status and my life and my family and everything I have from Uganda. But during that time, I used to ask myself, why is it that Ugandans like America, they like Europe, everyone's dream would be like, you know, to go live there, I want to be, why is it that way? Yet I have discovered how beautiful Uganda is. So for me, having worked, I don't work in government, but I work with government. I don't work with government because of any reason other than loving my own country, being patriotic. Music allowed me to travel all over the country by road to physically witness what the country is like. And I believe at this moment, whether you like the government or you don't, the fact is, if you have traveled Uganda and you have had an opportunity to travel outside elsewhere, I think Uganda is gold. Talk about the weather, start with the people. Actually, when the commissioner spoke about special things about Kasese, there's one thing you all forgot. People in Kasese are very good people. It all begins with the type of people where you go. Of course, generally, the whole world will tell you that Ugandans are good people. But believe me, in Kasese, they are good people. I, I grew up in Kasese. I was there for about three years between the age of 9 and 12. So I know. My stepfather was there, so I used to stay there near the, you know, the mines. I used to travel using the train. So I know what we're talking about here. But tourism and this kind of event allows people to see for themselves, to make the difference, to gauge, to judge. We have a problem with young people who don't believe in Vita touring their own country. There is hundreds of sites that we can go to. There's so many places that are more beautiful than places in Europe and America. So this is one of the way, this is one of the best vehicles that we can use to change the mindset of the people. Instead of going to visit places wherever they go 
and then we encourage them to fast visit or fast not much about your own country. And indirectly there you'll be promoting patriotism and of course your mindset will change after knowing that Uganda is not called the part of Africa by mistake but rather the facts and it's only those facts that of course tourism is, an, uh, 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 um, is a sector where countries make a lot of money only if those countries can allow us to really put who Uganda is on the internet and on the map, I believe Uganda will be making a lot of foreign exchange and of course compete at the highest level in the world. So I'd like to ask government to give the Ministry of Tourism a bigger budget because the vehicle that you have can actually change the problem that we are facing today, which is mindset. And then, of course, you know it's not going to be easy with the young people. On the other side, my job is music. And trust me, I'm very sure that on this uh, beautiful day, or even the days after, I will be doing some music, but of course I'm going to travel with you guys, and I'm going to travel with my beautiful wife, She's excited to be there with us. I was at the Of course, I want to travel with my media team because artists like us have also an opportunity to use our platforms and send the actual right messages. So I will definitely have members of the Gagama family joining us for the tour. And of course, I believe every after a year, will be, even if it is not me, but at least my presence will encourage every other big artist to look forward for such an opportunity every year to be part of this beautiful celebration every September 27th. So thank you so much, Mr. Kopinchula, and thank you, Minister. Thank you, everybody, for the press release on that day. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Mr. Kopinchula, and Eddie Kruger.